Okay, so the beaker is locked, but that's good. Now we will check about errors. So first you want to put the, the selector to cottons. Then you want to press play. At the same time you want to press the power switch. Now the machine will turn on and will here instead of 1705 would say any errors. In the past we had error E11 for the motor brushes. Pressing 1, the machine will start to tumble in the right side. Pressing again the play button, the machine will start to tumble in the left, left side. Pressing one time again and it will start spinning a 1500. The machine 1400 maximum but in the service cycle 1500. Then, if I press one more time, the machine will start to get water through here, which is the pre-wash compartment. If you press one more time, it will go through the detergent from the main wash, and if you press one more time, it will go through the um, softener compartment. If you press one more time, it will go to the pressure switch and will stop automatically. So, letting the machine to see the pressure switch level making sure it's pressed now it's stopped it's at the pressure switch level now we tumble and probably heat up to 95 degrees sometimes 100 depending on your machine's heater power mine it's 1800 watts something like that is the special model if we press one more time the machine will start draining and taking water at the same time like it would do if the machine does a sod lock the machine does a sod lock any time of the day or the night. The machine will automatically stay stay in the in the same position that it stopped on the suds and we wait five to ten minutes. Then we'll start to get water and rinse the the, the inner and the outer tub. So here's the end of the cycle. Now if you press again you will test first the display again tumbling in one side tumbling in the other side now if I press again the machine will not drain and will do a turbo drum clean it can speed up to 1400 but that's good after all because the machine does not want to get 1400 for the turbo drum clean so the machine would not get any cracks in the drum from the water pressure it's pretty high at 1400. Let's just say you put it here at the draining cycle and we get the machine to drain. 1400. Okay, I'm draining to the inner top level till there's no water to see. Okay, that's the inner top level. You don't want to reset the program, it will shred automatically if you put it in the cotton cycle. Put it into the the cotton cycle again one time in the right side left side you want to let to make at least one complete tumble before putting it to the spin or else the machine will not spin it will just drain it will just start to get water he will see how much the water splits at 1400 or 1500 I don't know how much the machine can reach with water inside Putting the machine to drain, stopping it, putting it to drain only. Now it drains, so that's good. The machine knows that now we know that the machine has a correct draining and that th there's no blockages on the way of the water out, so no problems for the machine. So here you go, this is how you enter the service cycle, how you check any errors, or how you do the turbo turbodrum clean. Bye guys, see you tomorrow.